Vodka. Tequila. Scotch. Beer. Wine. Rum. Gin. Whiskey. Alcohol. Alcohol probably took 20 years of my life, and you can't get that back. Alcohol is a drug, which most people don't think it is, but it actually is. It's classed as a depressant, meaning it slows down vital functions in the body. Alcohol is made through the fermentation of fruits and grains. The process of fermentation is basically letting fruit sit and rot until it can produce a mind-altering effect when you drink it. There's different types of things you can drink that have different amounts of alcohol in them, like a beer. If you just drink beer, that has uh, 2 to 6 percent alcohol. Wine is about 8 to 20 percent alcohol. And then you got your hard liquors, which are uh, like vodka or whiskey, which are about 40 to 50 percent alcohol. When someone drinks two or more drinks, it acts as a stimulant. When they drink more than that, it acts as a depressant. If you binge drink, what you're doing is you're just drinking repeatedly over and over large amounts and large quantities of alcohol. If you put that much alcohol in your system at one time, you can get alcohol poisoning, which could lead you to go into a coma or even kill you. Twelve years old, uh, I was in the seventh grade. Uh, when I was in eighth grade, I think I was 13 years old. It became very regular at 14 years of age. Fifteen years old when I first started drinking. Seventeen years old, starting going out parties, doing things like that. At first, drinking was a sociable thing, you know, I drank with my friends. I thought I was really cool going out with all the older guys, and I'd try to show off in front of them and drink myself stupid. I'd just go out and party all night. By the time I was probably 15 is where I started drinking at school. Putting it in a water bottle, I would take vodka or gin, something clear that looked like water, and I would just drink in class and pop mints in my mouth. We'd go in, break into his parents' liquor cabinet, fill up our super big olds full of ice and Everclear and then stop by 7-Eleven and fill the rest of it up with Coke and then make it to first period. I was drinking not just at parties and stuff, but after classes and after work and even at work. I waited tables, so it was very easy access to alcohol. It was just hard to say no. It was, it was so readily available and it was constantly there. My drug problem wasn't something that happened immediately. It happened so slowly that I missed the fact that I was addicted to it. It became a routine, a way of life. The only type of people I would hang out with were people who were using drugs or drinking alcohol. And it got to the point where that's all I cared about. It became far more than just a partying thing. It was um, a necessity. Without. If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, Call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A caring addiction advisor is awaiting your call.